It's best bets, it's best bets, it's time for all the best bets. Song of the summer. Uh, <laughs> NBA, name, who, who's going to win it all, Stats Guy? Who's going to win the entire... My Boston Celtics. Uh, Stats Guy says the Celtics, not nah. a bad pick. I'm a bit uh, worried, to be honest. They are, look, in terms of like favoritism, like your beloved Celtics are right there. Yeah. And that's all well and good. We just like to crumble it. <laughs> Four dollars fifty, the same price as the Milwaukee Bucks. Millie Walk out here, it's Algonquin for the good land. Uh, name the conference finalists for me. I'm going to say actually Milwaukee and Boston. It does feel chalky, but they are the two clear best teams yeah. in the East. Uh, you can actually get Milwaukee to play Boston in the conference finals. Three dollars seventy five with bet three six five. Okay. Going out west, uh, Denver versus Phoenix is actually seven fifty. That's the clear favorites there really? as well. What I like is Denver versus the Clippers. I think the Clippers, if they get healthy at that point, that's the one team that can sort of. It doesn't really matter who they play in the first two rounds. We know that the Nuggets own the Clippers. So uh, I'm picking Denver then to win back-to-back NBA titles. They're at $7. Love that. Yep. But I like the idea of the Nuggets and the Clippers because you think about the Clippers and the defenders they have. If they run into somebody like Phoenix, uh, Dallas, down, yeah. even the Lakers, like, they do have enough sort of stuff on the inside <clears throat> and outside on the perimeter to sort of slow the other stars of that one. But then – they just run into the whirring death machine of Denver and always sort of fall apart. So, uh, but for Denver to win the title at seven bucks to repeat, considering how good this team is, just yeah. they're built to grind into dust over the course of a playoff series. Like that's what they do. They've got an incredible starting five. Boston, we talk, ah, oh, they've got the best top six in the NBA. They do, but there's also still holes in like each individual sort of game. And you're also relying on someone like Stream Zinger Meal to stay healthy. Stay fit. I know. Mm. Um, Drew Holiday can also, like, he's amazingly defensive, like, amazing defensively, but we did see last year just we'll have those moments like, hey, uh, Drew, can you get us a bucket? He's like, yeah, nah, sometimes, I mean, like, yeah. Try. Sometimes I'll be good, but sometimes <laughs> I'll be bad. It's like, you've already got that with Jalen Brown. But anyway, um, so I can't really fault you for the Celtics call because I really like the Celtics. Yeah. I just think we could all end up with an absolute classic <laughs> Eastern Conference Finals where they play and Milwaukee wins in seven again. Seven, yeah, yeah. Way we go. Uh but Denver versus Milwaukee is a finalist pick is probably where I'm going to land, and that's where I'm landing. Mm. So there you go. Uh, title winner, Denver Nuggets. Denver seven Nuggets. Ten, my favorite. To be fair, them at seven bucks when you got the other two at 450 just seems a bit wrong when they literally just won the champion. I think you mentioned that on another show. I feel like that's yep. a bit too big of a discrepancy. Like all those teams should be around six or seven rather than, yeah, the big gap there. So I don't mind betting on Denver, and then you can sort of have a look at some other teams as well. Yeah, it's obviously because they sort of look at it and go, well, <laughs> Denver probably has the tougher conference to get through, so mm. they could somehow get knocked out in the first round. Yeah, oh, true. Like, they're still good. <laughs> I think that's seven dollars with Ladbrokes. There, it's actually all much closer. I think on three six five, where it's four fifty for the Bucks, five dollars for the Celtics, and five fifty for the Nugs. So that sort of makes a little bit more sense. So I'd be jumping on the value of the lads right now. In fact, I already have. Nice. So, uh, right, stats guy. Uh, back to the Champions League. If you want to hit the bit, Joe, I've got a bit of a rate my multi. Rate my multi. All right, so I'm going to have a look at the uh, Wednesday morning matchups. Our time, uh, Inter Milan head to head against uh, RB Salzburg, or they ca- can't be called Red Bull Salzburg because of all these lawsuits and things like that. Uh, yeah, Inter Milan just to have the experience uh, in this uh, tournament. They're just really strong. I think they're going to absolutely t- tear the park uh, between Salzburg, Galatasaray are taking on Bayern Munich. Uh, I'm going to go Bayern Munich head to head here. They've obviously got Harry Kane. He's been in absolutely awesome form for them. Uh, they're just, just yes, yeah, class above. Then I'm going to go Real Madrid to beat Braga. Real Madrid again. They've got Ballingham, probably the best player in the world at the moment. He's been absolutely awesome. Braga are way too many leagues below. I just think Real Madrid are going to tear them up as well. RC Lenz are taking on PSV. This is probably the tougher matchup. You can get PSV at $2.70. I really like them just head-to-head. They're first in the Dutch league, whereas RC Lenz are 15th in the French league. So those French and Dutch leagues are sort of known as your lower sort of ones, but they're still very even. So PSV are first in the in the Dutch league, which is usually Ajax and the sort of bigger clubs, and they're going really well. So I was really surprised they're $2.70. They are away, but they get the value in the multi. So I'm going to go Inter Milan head-to-head, uh, Bayern Munich head-to-head, Real Madrid head-to-head, and PSV head-to-head is $7.39. Oh. Yeah, not bad. The That's first three great. legs are really uh, heavy favorites, and then PSV yep. sort of bumps it up a little bit. That's great for seven dollars thirty nine, seven forty. Mm. You feel pretty good about that. That I mean, you did a very good breakdown on Lens versus PSV there, so I have to jump on there with you there, stats guy. Why not? Yeah. Um, I will probably give that like an eight and a half. I really I like. That. Nice. 
Seven dollars forty. Hmm. Pack her up, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Uh, all right, I'll do a very quick rate my multi as well, just to have some uh, the surprise teams for the over unders. Look, I've broken down a couple of my favorite over under win totals for the season. Yep, uh, a couple of the surprise ones that you could go <clears throat> either or, and they could just you know smash it out of nowhere, and you're like, huh, that's kind of nice. Uh, so <laughs> let's look the Orlando Magic over thirty six and a half, the Memphis Grizzlies. Under 46 and a half with losing Stephen Adams as well as Brandon Clark yeah. for the season. The fact that that's still so high, it's a bit of a worry. I think we might see the bottom fall out of the Chicago Bulls this year. So under 37 and a half, I just, what are they doing? Like that team, <laughs> yeah. zero direction. Yep. Absolutely zero direction. And then the other surprise one, I feel like the Atlanta Hawks, weirdly undervalued at 42 and a half. They've got a proper coach, Quinn Snyder. Those are that's at forty two and a half. So if you go the over in that one, that is a four leg over under multi that gets to eleven dollars seventy, really? which is actually pretty good because I think I trust Orlando to go over the thirty six and a half. I think they're going to be tough, good. They're young, they're talented. You got Paolo Banquero and Franz Wagner. Hello, yep. Uh, do a lot more of the offensive heavy lifting this year. The Grizzlies, no Jam for twenty five games. No Stephen Adams. That's a lock, a, I reckon. Yeah, a lot of Triple J. A lot of Xavier Tillman at the five. I don't like that in the West. Chicago under 37 and a half. I just, this team is gross. I just can't see them winning 38 games. Mm. Like that's how I sort of sit on it. And the Hawks over 42 and a half. Rate my multi stats guy $11.70. Oh, I was going through a few. Rate right my multi. Nice. Uh, I'll give it a, yeah, I'll probably give it an eight, eight and a half, similar to the one you gave me. Uh, yeah, I, I really like it. The only, I am a bit worried about the magic. I still, I do think they're going to step up with those younger guys, but that's probably the only one I'm a tiny bit worried about. But I'll give it eight and a half, nine even, maybe. Hmm. Nice one. I think Chicago, like the one thing where I look at it and go, they didn't get demonstrably better. No, nah, they haven't. Whereas yeah. a lot of those mid table East teams did. Like Indy should be. Look, I don't. I'm a little bit down on Indy because, as I sort of talked about, like if Halliburton misses any time, they're cooked. Yeah, but it's still a tough team to get by just on a day to day basis. Same with like the Knicks, the Cavs. <clears throat> The Nets are a little bit more solid if Ben Simmons is back and playing really well. The Hawks, I've just talked them up as well. No, I really like, like that Hawks one, yeah. yeah. I think the 42 and a half of the Hawks is just way it under. Low, so, yeah. yeah, we're going over that pretty handily. I think I think I had them like pegged at about 46 wins, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, there's like a really tough morass and it's really hard when you look at the NBA as a whole to go, right, who's not trying to make the playoffs this year? And in the West, it's like there's 13 teams gunning for it. I know. In the East, it's probably about the same. It's like maybe Detroit, Crazy. maybe like maybe Charlotte falls off again. Who knows? But yeah, it's basically Washington and maybe Detroit at the bottom of the East that are kind of easy beats. But even they've got a lot of talent. So Chicago, I just really worry about that team. Yeah, so. I agree. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.